Dutch says scramble, though. Dutch says scramble? Dutch right. says scramble, it's so decided. scramble is happening. It's decided. Let's decide it. We're going to. I believe it's called the wisdom of crowds. Yes. All right, so let's see what we got here, folks. Let's do it. Uh, oh, all right, let me do this first, and then Bill will read the stats. Now let's do this. What do we got? All right. Playing from the blacks. 7,000. Fairway firmness hard. Not even firm, hard. So, wherever it is. Premium on hitting the roughly fairway. Roughly elevation that we're used to. 12 stimps. Breezy. So fast greens, breezy, and a premium on hitting the fairway to get those big bounces. Yeah, well, we're going to find out if our driver holds for two rounds. Oh, that's good because the driver was a real <laughs> hit show for me. Oh, All let's right, let's it. see. What is what is the question? How do you guys uh, did you find, find it? it? It was just in uh, simulatorgolftour.com. Yep, so you sign up for the SGT. And if you sign up for that, they have a number of tours you can play. And one of them is the two by the two man scramble. Um, they also have three different tours uh, that you can play based on your handicaps. They also have uh, what they call the tips tour, which is big hitters playing from the big swinging dick tips. Um, and then there is a uh, there's one I'm leaving out. There's two I'm leaving out. There's an auto putt tour. That's all handicaps. Auto putts. And there's a par three then the tour. Par three. That's all handicaps. And the only reason me and Bill don't play those, those are the ones I played last year. And they're great because they go quick. But they're bad because there are no tiers. So we're just getting everybody. destroyed by people. Where did that weird? How did you guys like playing playing it? Oh. Oh. Um, we like it, but we, we're consistently destroyed in it because yeah. there's no handicapping. Well, there is handicapping. Well, it's just but, close net, but it's like. But the handicapping's not very good. Right. The, and the, I mean, it's fine. The handicapping's fine. But the handicapping does what the handicapping's supposed to do, which means it makes it a fair fight, which means we have like one top five and like one top 10, two top 10s maybe the whole season right. in the net division. And in the gross division, it's a brutality. Yeah, we're hanging the out. The same there. team has won literally half of the gross events every single year or this year. So that just defeats all of my like love to want to do it, Dutch, <laughs> because it's like, oh, well, the same team is winning literally half the events. Sure. And don't get me wrong. They, they deserve it. They're both. There is a world golf ranking. God damn it. That's, that just hit as me. It's fine. We'll switch it after the second one. Um, there is a world golf ranking, and both those guys are in the top ten. One of them is in the top three, I think. So it's literally some of the best oh! simulator golfers on planet Earth pairing oh, up together. No! And again, I don't begrudge them for doing it. I think that's great. But my problem with it is the obvious, which is that I just want to go and feel like I can have a good time and compete if I play well. And it's me and Bill could play the best scramble. We could, we could literally birdie 14 holes today, which would be, for me and him, amazing. Yep. And we will lose by many strokes. Yep. Yep. It's like going to your local muti and then some group of old farts with oh. a fucking 20 handicap come out and win the net division by shooting a, you know, 49. That reminds me. I better do this real quick. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? What do you got? All right. Oh, so we don't get hosed? Yeah, I leave Good it call. off when we're playing, but I'm not going to leave it off when, you know what I mean? Yep. All right, buddies. How'd you go? Go enjoy the sunshine. It looks beautiful out so there. So for me, pro versus the web versus the those tours where the handicaps are there at least. Now, that being said, I still don't feel like those are policed as much as they need to be, which is kind of painful. Right. So where Brandon and where I fell, Dutch, was right in the middle tour, um, which is I'm not a light hitter and I'm not awful, but I'm not really, really good. I'm right in the middle. Well, in that middle tour, they have a rule that says if you are a plus six or better handicap on that tour, not your total handicap, just that tour handicap. Then you get kicked off into the big tour, which is great. That's a wonderful rule. So if you start playing really good, you have a couple of good weeks, and then you're going to find yourself in the middle of the pack with the big boys where you belong. Right. But the problem is, is that right now, I guarantee you, I can go on that thing and find the top five or six guys on that tour are over that handicap, and they should be kicked out, and they haven't been. Ah. Because every time I've ever looked, that's the case. So I'm like, again, that's deflating because the entire reason for having that tours and segments is to say, like, go play the big tour. You're clearly really, really good at golf. Find that hard fairway, baby. There you go. 
Yeah, that'll run a little bit, I imagine. Oh, look at that bounce. It's yeah, jeez. Really it's like hitting the cart path. So we're gonna have to be cognizant of that on these approaches. Yeah. All right, 173. So a long hole, which, I mean, hey, we're playing 7,000 yards, baby. It's gonna be long. Yep. Yeah, I walked up with, uh, I had to go to the office this morning, Bill. So me and Bizu walked to the office this morning at like eight in the morning. Yep. And then walked back at like 10 o'clock and uh, it was cold, it was cloudy, it was windy. Yep. And I looked down at my watch and it said it was gonna be 50 today. And I'm like, well, I wonder when that's gonna be. Go outside now, it's like, oh, now, okay, got it. Yep, cool, right, right now. I like it. Pulled it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, Ray right Club just got a little over the top on it. All right. All right. Shoot. Oh, brother. Okay, 173. I did I I have already forgotten the elevation. Uh it's roughly our elevation here. Okay. So it was like a 20 feet shorter than us. Okay. So I'm so gonna assume then that I don't have to necessarily whack-a-mole here. Yeah, you should get your normal natural distance here. Let's see if I guessed right. Yep. Yeah, I guessed right. Curling that there, hill. Baby. I saw that hill. Come down that hill, baby. I Look saw it. that thing roll. I did the heat map before that, and it was a big, this is going to be a big breaking putt. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw that from the heat map. It looked uh, brutal. Not wrong. All right. Start with a bird. All right, let's do it. We got to make this thing in the, in the F parts. Let's close the season out strong and make us feel like bad <laughs> for not playing more. Doggos. All right, I'm aimed at the middle of that cart path out in the distance. Okay. 14 feet. This is a 12 stimpy, too, baby. Yep, baby. Good job. All right, lead us off, bud. Maybe maybe we should have been doing this the whole time, like warming up first. <laughs> well, we don't always have the time right. to make that work in my world yeah. or yours. Yeah. Note to self, warm up rounds, not a horrible thing. How you say, come at me, bro. How you say, come at me, bro. Come left. Eh, lost a few yards, but we're in a good spot for a okay. short hole. I like it. Checking the mic battery levels. We're looking good. All right. Yeah, we had, what, an hour and 40 on the first round. Yeah, we still got over 50%. Okay. All right, you were in good shape, though. Nice shot. Yep, no, it worked out all right. That makes life a lot easier for Team Brandon. All right. I like so, yeah, so if we, if we ended up doing, to kind of round out this conversation, if we ended up deciding we were going to do Wednesday golf again next year, I would argue that instead we would do the Pro Tour. Yes. Which is the middle tour, and we would play, it's a two-round event, which, again, if I could have one word into the SGT people, I'd be like, Give us a tour where there's one event a week so that we don't have to play two. But I would argue that we would do that instead, and then we would either double dip, which is a lot, or we play one event, and then Friday golf would just be... Everybody know. could join us on that round, and we would get credit, and they would just get to see the variety we see. Exactly. And then round two would be whatever they want to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I finally felt like... I still sliced. That one finally felt like I got into it. It's gonna kick left, get big bounce. Oh, yeah. oh you hit that fairway, you're gonna get buku yards. Yeah, I, I finally hit. felt like that one was, and I mean, camera confirms, I finally hit that in the actual spot. Hey, water dog, golly. I wish I could just leave that down there, but. I don't know what it is, man. Can't do it, dude. Like, he's got the same shiny bowl at home, like, he can see his reflection in that, he doesn't yeah. attack it. Well, and again, I've tried the other bowls, and I it doesn't know. matter. Like, he did it with the bone bowl Something first. Something in the water here, apparently. I don't know, man. Something in the water. It's called lead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fairly level up there. Nice smooth uh, sandwich here. Oh, then I turned. 
turfed it. Oh, God. Says no. he turfed it. Run. Well, I mean, you got a big bounce, which, you know, hey, ball. great. I feel, feel awful for that. That's like Taylor made wedge in my hand, and then I chunk it. Right, uh, uh, Dutch, to answer your question, I believe the answer is yes. So I believe, like, we could play a round where it's like me and Bill and Mike, and we play the second round. I believe the way it works, so Mike is an SGT member, but I believe if we're playing the second round, it will not count for him at all. I don't think you can play the nope. second round first. Nope. So instead, it will just count for me and Bill, and everybody else just tags along, which is fine. Right. Because, I mean, if you go, you could go play that event right now, we used to have trouble with that, actually, mm -hmm. where sometimes it wouldn't catch. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, that would make our lives a little bit easier. And then you won't have to play back-to-backs, which are always hard. Go. Go. That sounded a little click. Go. No, it was fat. I turfed it just like you. Ah, Brandon. Ooh, we got work to do, boss. 80-some yards with a wedge. That's not good for the brand. Nope. Give me 80 yards with a wedge, and I'm 40 feet away. It's putrid. I mean, it's roughly the same, but mine's technically green. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, All right. I need a right. hero. Long bomb, baby. Do, do, do. 40 feet plus a foot of hill. It's like another one of them ram, ramrod into the back of the cup. Speed, okay. How did hey, I hold it? Honk and pull. Big S pull. So I mean, kind of maybe Amy, roughly where you were at? It's about there. I mean, because assuming I'm not going to pull that two whole degrees, right. right? Yeah. Well, wait till you have to sledgehammer at 50 plus feet, and then tell me you won't pull it. All right, you two. Hey. <laughs> We start playing, and then everyone gets crazy. Piper, come here. All right, so 40 come up. Here. Hey, come over here. Come here. Hey, get over here. Piper, he's who doesn't want none of your shit. You're so wet. What the hell, dude? Oh, I just need to hit it harder. If I hit that harder, I had a shot at it. Yep. Yeah, yep. You hit it, that, it was the right line. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, neat. Ooh. All right, so everybody on the stream knows I love a nice elevated tee box, especially on a par three. So, very cool. Yep. Yeah. And so, 214, 29, almost 30 down. We need to steal a bird here because we lost one. <sighs> yeah. On that we, hole. we lost one? Oh, no, 80, you mean. 86 yards with a wedge in our hand. Agreed. Agreed. So, but we can do this. Yeah, I, I would argue stealing this one is kind of what we'd be talking about doing. Get Bill that foam dampening soup. Kick left for us a little. Kick left for us a little. Nice shot, partner. That works. Had a bud. Yeah. Little, Had a bud. The four iron doesn't seem to go quite as far as my other four iron. Must though. be the irons. <laughs> All the other clubs seem to be okay or even like a hair stronger. Like my seven and my six are both a little stronger. Mm -hmm. But the five and the four, I don't know. If just trying to get used to it, but those yardages are a tish under what I normally expect, but I don't know. So that was my carry number, and I landed just short of it. I think I'm still going to hit this one. This is a little bit more than that, but I yeah, think Yeah, but if I you're not hitting the four need. iron, you'll, you'll get less roll than I did. Mm, going to be a little right of it. Just stick the landing. Oh, God. <sighs> Yeah, 163 carry. That was not enough. Took too much off of it is what it did. Okay. Well, hey, man, I got us to 15 feet, man. That's yeah, I mean, hey, got to like the no pressure situation. Of, hey, man, uh, that's a good looking birdie, too. We got a shot at that. Let's make that. So what do you think? Something like... Oop. Oh, geez. Yeah, about like that. <laughs> it's level, so yeah, it won't probably need quite as much. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the line if you're going to nurse it. If you're going to be more direct, it's a little less. No, I, I tend to just hit it. Direct. I mean, I oh my God, Birdemic! <laughs> oh God! Oh, you hammered it then. Yep. Like that was my point. Was yep. no, like I, that line works if you're nursing it, but if you're gonna yeah, hammer it, no, it you needed a much little, less. Got a little, uh, little jumpy on. Yeah. Me. All right. Um, shoot. Yeah, I screwed that up. A little excited. Okay. 
Birdemic is freaking me out though. <laughs> Birdemic! Bad movie night. Okay, 15. Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to break a lot. Just no. hit a nice easy one up there. A little firm, a little firm. Yep. Those God, we're putting, we're putting again. I know. 12, I wish I would have thought of that right then. Yep. Yeah, the 12s are what's yep. getting us right now. Yep. Golly. All right. Yep. Blah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't even think of 12 if I'd have thought of 12. Yep, that's that's been what's getting me. I'm just hitting it just a If I'd have had that thought, I, I would have hit it differently. All right. Well, that's just, that's on me and yeah. you and yeah. us. It's all right. Okay. Well, I'll steal one, another hole. Yeah, frustrating. Yeah, all these par fours are going to be. But 408 20 down ain't so bad. No, with a firm fairway, if you can catch this thing clean, man, you're going to have fun with it. All right. I concur. Pummel one dead straight down the pipe. That's what we want here. Oh, what was that, Bill? What was that? I mean, it's fairway. <laughs> well, no, it ain't. <laughs> or it was. No, it ain't. <laughs> that being said, though, you ain't going to be the worst off 149. No, 149. Like, I mean, we've had worse. It ain't undoable. Right. Undouble. Yeah. Gave me 258 in the game, which means it's still 20 yards down. It's the same length down as that par three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just straight. No, down. no, that par three was 30. Oh, it was 30? Yeah. Okay. Dang it. I see somebody just dropped quite that close tool that bar on my doorstep. Yeah, I'm already into it. God, no, no. We're going to take yours. I'm dead. I hit a branch and kicked right. Yeah, look at that. I mean, technically, I've got a line, but again, I don't see Two any reason. Two roughs and I'm 10 yards closer. I mean, I don't see any reason not to I take this one. I don't see any reason. So let's yeah. just do it. All right, that was putrid. Well, that's why we saved the scramble for last. We put our good rounds on the front end. I mean, this is my argument against the scramble being in second position is just because I think by the time you get to, because you're still hitting the same amount of strokes, maybe right. a few less. Yep. But by the time you get to that back nine, it's like, yeah, I'm, this is, this is a lot. Yep. Like I'm just saying, like, not, not that I feel like this, is, we're playing a second round today no matter what. You know what though? What? The wind has been gusty, and I haven't been watching the wind. I haven't. I couldn't tell you one wind we've seen yet. I haven't been looking at the wind at all. You had one job to do. Right. So it's like, well, that might explain a little bit of our... Yeah, uh, you're not wrong. Oh, big pole. Yep. Oh, big yep, ass pole. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just keeping this down, but I'm just flying over the top. There's another meme I can get is that British Cockney guy yelling, do your fucking job. Yeah. Where in the fuck are we? It's oh, that off, overview is just completely screen. out. Because okay. we're on the wrong hole, so you okay. can just do the target view, and then you can see it. Here, I'll zoom you in. Okay, I'm just trying to debate. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, all right, so nine Oops. against in my case, so take extra club. Yep. All right, idiot bag, start looking at the... Yeah. And by idiot bag, I'm talking to myself here. Start looking at the freaking numbers. Yeah, we haven't played wind in so long that it's like I just had been ignoring it for the first couple of holes, and I'm like, oh, shit. That says I'm 10 into me. Come on, cut Come a little bit more. Cut a little bit more. Cut a little bit more. Oh, go. we're going to be fine. Yeah, thank you, boss. All right, well, we got a putt. We just got to start making some putts. I'm gonna just start making some putts. Putter's gotta come alive. Yes, of course, sir. I could do that if I had my brand new shiny putter. Right? I mean, I'm gonna blame this whole round on your. On clearly on the lack of brand new shiny putter. Yeah. Um, all right, so 12 stimp greens, slightly uphill. I kind of like. Oh golly, I don't know. Maybe something like this. Yeah, it's just like a slow, steady. I mean, it's gonna break a little bit in the front, and then after that, it's gonna kind of calm down a little. Yeah. All right, two screens, no more. Must have been a push as well, right? I don't know. What the heck? I didn't even get, like, 
I don't know, did you feel like you hit that right? I mean, for a 12 snip, I took a little off. I mean, I hit the screen with pace, but clearly not enough pace. I mean, it's 30 plus a little uphill. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything funny going on here. No, so I'm assuming it's how I think I need to do it. I gave it. Yeah. Yeah, just a little tug, just a baby tug. Hit a little firmer, a little less tug. Yeah. All right. Holy. Well, we've had opportunities. Yeah. I feel like three under here would have been about right. I would have felt pretty good at three under. Well, and I think that's about what we've deserved. <laughs> so now we've gotten to, I don't know if you can see this on stream, everybody, but now we've gotten to the Jonestown version of Doggo over here. You know, like we handed out the Kool-Aid and now everyone's dead. Everyone's gone to their pout place. Yeah. Love you, doggos. Now we've gotten on the Nerby channel. Ha, oh, da, 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 Nerby, 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 Nerby. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the stream. Shoot. Four, okay. This is a 469 par four. Yeah, it's very different than the last course. And it's 10 into us. Very different than the last course. And I hit that like a uh, madudu. <laughs> more more tulip RD in my tummy, please. Thank you, Costco discount brand. Yeah, one disadvantage. I'm a happy member of Sam's, as you know, technologically amazeballs. But the one giant glaring awful thing that they don't do, right? No discount alcohol. No booze. Yeah. Kirkland branded wine, apparently, and whiskey is sometimes legit. Yeah. There you go. Hey, I actually closed the club face for a change. Get a little more right, stay out of that bunker. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, that'll be fine. Okay. We needed all of that. I mean, I didn't hit all of it. It was a little off the toe, but I felt like I actually got the freaking face closed. Yeah. Because that's my problem right now. It is all that, it is years of trying to stop hooking. Yeah. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm dropping my hands in the other direction, and I can't go off the face to save my life. It's so stupid. But again, channeling my inner Luke Kwan, I've kind of gotten used to the fact that if it's going to do a little bit of that, then, then that's what's going to happen. Like, yeah. if it wants to do that, just let it happen. All right, here we go. Oh, I towed it. Ah! Yep, and because of that. It's like, yeah, I'm getting just the weirdest ball flight with this club. Like, it makes no sense to me because it feels like it should just kind of go long and like hook or do something. But in the sim, for whatever combination of what I do with that hybrid, it, hey! <laughs> Thief! Thief in the night! Just go back and lay down. <laughs> hey, come here. Come here. Six against. Golly, that makes me think I need more club. But yeah. do I want to hit a hybrid here? Come here. Come here. Come stay with me. I don't. I don't want to hit a hybrid, Bill. Swing pure of heart. You will win. Sounded good. A little oh, bit I of need a about nine bounces. Find the throat. Oh, oh I don't need nine bounces. All. Run. That was the right decision then. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. All right, thank you, Butter Knife, otherwise known as my forearm. <laughs> oh, look at that putt. We have to make this. Yeah, we better. Can you? I mean, do you want a little or are you going to pull it? I'm going to hit it straight. I'm going to hit it. Then this. maybe right at the edge? Oh, yeah. Like, I don't think you need any more than that. It's mm -hmm. such a slow mover. Mm -hmm. All right, so 24 on 12, so screen and a half, two screens. Just a little soft. Man, I'm hitting an okay putt here, but why can't I get the speed? I, I mean, I love the zero two. Yeah. Love, love, love the zero two. Yeah, I thought I put a good move on that, but yeah, 24, I'm just, I think the 12s are in my head. I just need to go back, just think 11 and a half. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's typical, I would argue, for both you and me. Yeah is getting, letting it get in our heads a little. I think that's what it is, because I was just, I was like, oh yeah, it's 12, and then instantly I'm just like shorted everything. Oh, I pushed it, I pushed it. I pushed it, yep, mm -hmm. zero seven. 
Everything was fine, but I pushed it. Dang it. Golly, that was the best looking putt we've had all day. I know it. Putter letting us down right now, folks, on bit. the stream. Like, a little bit. Just the putter letting us down. Okay, so obviously this must go for what I would assume is a signature hole at Hawksview. I mean, that that's a cool hole. The rocks in front remind me of... I think that's still a hole at Oxbow. Remember that par three? Much shorter oh, yeah. than this. Has rocks in front too. Yeah, yeah. Similar layout though, just mm -hmm. much shorter. No, god damn it, Bill. Just, oh. I love that I can see whatever's in the water there. Bill sleeps with the fishes. See? All right, I'm putting you on re-hit because I don't think there's any other reason. No, you just got to bail me out here. All right, well, I got you. Whoa. Right. God, me and that hybrid. I Send don't know the what's butter going knife on. in for one more go round. That's a pilot term, too, right? Watch as I butter this bread. I'm going to butter this butter this bread all the way down the runway. For that? No. No. No, that's no. Okay. Water. Go, go, please go, please go, please go. Oh, oh God, with you. we're dead. I'm in the water with you. Wow. So, I mean, go back to the tee. I, I don't know why you'd want to hit this shot because it's going to be almost as far. Like, there's the tee box, right? Yeah. So, again, go back to the tee where we can actually put it on a tee versus yep. ending it up there and hitting it off the turf. Oh, buddy. We, uh, we done, we done, we done messed up, Haas. All right, we need to stay out of the black velvet zone. <laughs> in the scramble. I know, I would argue, Bill, that the black velvet zone in the scramble should not be triple. It should be double or bogey even. I, I'm, I'm okay with this. But, uh, yeah. Owie town. I mean, that's on me, though, in all honesty. I probably shouldn't have hit the four. Once you went in the water, I should have taken way more club. Be there. No, what I did with that, that didn't feel strong. Be there. Oh, God. All right. Well, this time I'm going to do what I should have done the first time. <laughs> right? Which is just take more club, and if I sail it over the green, I sail it over the green. Let's hope we don't have to re-hit again. We have to re-hit again. I'm going to have to go in and get the black velvet, and I don't want to do that. So <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll argue this is a hard hole. On the other hand, though, there's no excuse to put three in the water no, on, on this thing. No, not like, really. That's just fucking dumb. It, it, All right, this is way too much club. So how far do you want this over the green? Just anything over the fucking water is fine. Well, that's over the water and then some. Sit, please. That's okay. We'll take it. Sit, please. I'll yep. allow it. Well, again, this is what I should have done the first time, right? Yep. Is like, just take that out of play. Because four iron for me off that tee is the right club. Um, but again, like, right club is not good enough. This is this is uh, Scramble Cuervo. I don't think we've ever had a double before. Unless we hold this out. We oh, no, we've been in the, well, yeah, we've been in the water before. But I think traditionally we go in the water on fives. Yeah. <laughs> Going forward or doing something stupid. Yeah. No, this is a double if we're lucky. No. Yeah. It's double, but not if we're lucky. Come on, man. We got this. Like, this is 38 yards. We got to get this up and down. Yeah, we'll get it up and down. I mean, we got to get this up and down for double. I mean, is double bad? Fuck yeah. Yeah. We're going to be over par going through uh, through six. Like, that's you really bad. You need a lot of distance because it will run down to the hole. It's right, but I'm going to take I landed on the fringe and went by it. Yeah, but I'm going to take a different trajectory than you. I'm not going to yep. land it there. I'm going to put it on the green. Okay. All right, 38. Little left. Oh, Nerby, you asshole. God damn it. All right, well. All right. That's 13 lame. footer to save our pride. Well. <laughs> or whatever we're gonna call uh, whatever, saving it. Whatever calls for our Jeez. pants around. Bad for the bad for the brand here, folks. Yeah. All right, 12 feet, but it's uphill four inches, so you've yeah. got to hit it all at 12 feet. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh. All right, double bogey Ooh. plus one through History six. History made, folks. History Ouch. made. 
Ouch. History made. Look at this hole. Good Lord, I'm gonna have to drink more if we're playing more holes like this. Jeez, Good wait. Lord. You're gonna have to give me a 240 carry. Lordy, lordy. Because I don't know if I got 250 carry in the bag, brother. Do it. All right, this is a 227 and I'm gonna need all of it. And I'm fighting the windy city here. All right, well. but I hit it hard and I'm, and I'm fucked. No! Jeez. Bill's now lost a sleeve <laughs> <laughs> into the water hazards. Oh, I dropped. That was probably bad, but we'll fix it with yours. Oh my Lord, yes. My I, God, look where that drop is. I know, it's awful. Fucking A. Fucking A. All right, well then I will take the safe play. Which uh, is what I should have done last time, right? Like, that's true. You still watching? Remember. Well, there are three viewers, so he's got to be one of them, I assume. Remember, you wanted this. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. You just Jack Reacher your ass. <laughs> Remember, Dutch, you wanted this. <laughs> Go, baby. Oh, it's gonna go. I just don't want it to go too far. Fuck, go far. Yeah, there farther. we go. All right. Farther. I took a conservative line, or so yep. I thought, anyway. Yeah, no, you did good. Thank you. Well, sir. again, it's what I should have done the first time, right? Like the first time we played I, on that last hole, it's like the moment you were in the water is the moment I should have taken a lot more club. Dutch says he's here. Yeah, I um, see that. But yes. He's getting, he, he's getting what he paid for. <laughs> All right, well, let's make it up here. This is an undoable. Nope. Not a real easy way into this sucker, though, unfortunately. I don't know if I've got the muscles, but I'm gonna take it over there. Hey, and sir, see. gulps a lot. Hey, sir, gulps a lot. It's gonna be my new nickname for you. It's gonna be Sir Gulps a Lot. I know you gotta shake it out because you are covered in it. So good layup. Yeah, very good layup. That'll work, dude. Let's let's go with that. That's what I meant. Oh. Full send, according to Dutch. <laughs> yeah. Dutch says full send. send All right. It. Well, then that's what I will do. Well, we're safe in the fairway at 54 yards. I will full send this we're thing, We're going to need a couple of birdies to get back. Oh, from, oh, it checks my notes. Over par. Oh, <laughs> scramble. Oh, the 10 mile an hour crosswind is less than ideal. All right. Rampage. Oh, I pulled it, damn it. Reaching for bonus yards. Yeah, yeah, oh, I'm gonna get bonus yards. It's just ain't gonna be where I want them. <laughs> Shoot. All right, so just, I would argue angle. The yard is just pretty irrelevant. So what angle do you like better? I like fairway for the spin. I also like fairway. All right, BD5. It's like seven yards more, but. BD5. Oh, you know what? I got a bottle of Hoot and Young that was going in the house over here, don't I? No, it's already in the house. Oh, I got a bottle of, since Nervy's not here, we'll drink something that uh, Nervy hates. Coffee? Yeah, well, we could also drink that. I had plenty of that this morning. There you go, partner. Yeah, I had the yardage. I just nice kind of tugged it a touch. Nice shot. Yep. Ah, puppies. Yeah. You buttheads. It's always my dog, too. Oh, without doubt. Like, my dog spills water, but his spilling water is, like, right around the bowl as he's drinking. Your dog is, like, needs a snorkel when he comes over. Revel Stoke Spicenheimer. That's the bottle you should take with you again today. I said that last time, and it's still here. 55. I got a better idea. Come on, please. Please, spin! Where's spin. the spin? 5,500, where's my spin gone? Mike, are you watching the stream? Are you watching the stream, Mike? Oh, he's gonna hate that. I know it. He's not here. You gotta be careful, though. You might break that if he doesn't know what's in there. That's all right. I, I'll be giving it to him, and he'll be like, why is my bag so heavy? Yeah. Yeah, he'll hate you for that. All right, so I'm 11, and you're 8. Yeah. 
eight. It's, it's, break. Break. it's breaking either way. So, whoops, Oop. I'm sorry. Nope, that's all right. Maybe something like that? Yeah. Tiny bit up. Shoot for a nine footer here. Ooh, that smells sweet. I mean, it's no cookie dough whiskey, but you know, ideal. Hit the ball, idiot, and it uh, still goes in. All right. I don't even know how. We have gotten back to even. Oy. We've gotten back to even. Oh, we have another five, four thirty. I mean, hey, this is what four. this is what the day is gonna be, brother. Yeah, it's gonna be a grind. It's gonna be four, four this, four that, such and such and so on. Is this the actual last week of the season? Like, uh, when? Did no, it there was one next week. That's why there was a calendar event for next ah, week. Ah, I gotcha. Look at that throat, though. And again, that's another thing, Dutch. We weren't talking about. Um, I think the uh, events start too soon. And I say that as a northerner. Yeah. I get that you're further north than I am, Dutch, but. Ben. Oh, yeah. A little pull. Um, the idea that, you know, the idea that you're going to start a indoor scramble tour at the end of September when it's like I've even got a month left of golf is like kind of asinine. Yeah, you can't start these tours until like the FedEx Cup wraps up. Like, I would love it if the, if they had another tour where it was one round a week and it started in November. You know, like it almost needs to be, uh, again, if I could design it myself, which by the way, I can and I have thought about it. Um, if I designed it myself, it would be like curling. It was like, it wouldn't start till October, November. And then it would be done in March. Yep. Because it's like, yeah, now it's time to go out and play the real thing. Is it gonna find that little speed slot in there? Oh, it's is it gonna try. find the speed slot? Come right, come right, come right, come right. Ah, well, that's fair. Shorten it up. That looks like first cut though. Semi right. Your level was South Dakota, Nebraska. Friggin' geography, dude. <laughs> yeah. So technically, I'm level. We're with like South Dakota. What? How well, is that? Geography, right? I know you, the Earth is curved. Well, no, no, no. Because once you get by the Great Lakes, it does this. Well, Canada comes well, in know. like this, right? Um, it's the same thing with like, did you know that Detroit, Michigan is further east than Florida? What? That's it's, no, it's true. Look it up in a map. It's absolutely 100% true. What? It's one of those funny stats that you never realize. It says you're hey. on the fairway here, dude. Well, that's great news for us. Yeah. Yeah, geography is a crazy, crazy, crazy thing. But yeah, South Dakota Dutch, we're like uh, about like an the hour. Like the Panhandle, like Florida Panhandle. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Like a lot of Florida. Like it's further, it's further east than Miami. What? I know, man. Look at the map. It's no. fucking crazy. It's a funny, 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 funny world that we live in. Okay, maybe not Miami. I might be wrong about this. I was this. gonna say. Well, I ain't that far off. Like though. you're gonna break my brain. I ain't that far off though. But yeah, it's just geography. Um, all right. So how do you? Uh, well, well, oh God. So did you account for the wind that you're back there, dude, or not? I did not actually. So okay. Which That's, makes sense because I hit it bad and carried it all the way. Okay, so I need to feather this then. Is what essentially I'm getting at, which I'm okay with doing. Just gotta know these things. Ah, cut a little bit for me, huh? Oh god, I feathered it way too much. Fuck, that's terrible. Do we want a putter chip? That's terrible. I I overdosed on how much I was gonna have to worry about that. 39 footer probably has a better chance to chip in. What do you think? Up to you. What do you think? I, I mean, know. I can I can get on board with either. What do you feel? Well, we could try both both avenues. I could try and put it in there. It's leaning left. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm torn. Take the putt, then. I think if the you're putt. torn, take the putt. Yeah, I think the tie goes to the putt. Yeah, usually that's the... Just because we can run one in long. Yeah, we've made a few of them long-range bad boys. It's the double breaker at the end, but I think 
I think by the time it comes off that hill, it'll be mostly straight. So you're just trying to play this, <coughs> this ridge you gotta hit on. Uh, yes, Dutch, the answer to that question is sim tours typically start in the later half of September, which again, I feel is too early. Or at least I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Whatever it started, it was way too early. It felt early. Oh, yeah. Oh, smoked it. Yep. Yeah, you can see what I did there. Hit a fairly good putt. So, depending on your speed, I feel like that's about it right there for the speed if you if you get it. Okay, so I was wrong about that Dutch. It starts the first week of September. So it literally starts before Labor Day here in the US. Which again, I would argue, it's just too damn early. It's like at Labor Day, I'm still getting into the swing of, I mean, even here in North Dakota, we have a month and a half left of golf. Yeah, my, my best golf happens in September and October. So like the last thing I wanna do when it's still 75, 80 degrees outside and the foliage is just starting to change and football season's a week away and it's like, yeah, now go inside to your house and play simulator golf. And again, I get why they do that. It's because there's a lot of people out there who enjoy playing simulator golf. That's great. I don't want to play that early. Ooh, touch firm. No, I'm short. Go, little... go! Oh! It broke back at the end. You pushed it just a touch. But yeah, yeah it, it did break, and I accounted for okay. that, but you all pushed right. it a little bit. All right. It's all right. Whatever. We're still even. Well, good that. job, Abe and Spicenheimer. Yeah. Oh, God, Spicenheimer. Let's do this. Cheers. Sugar bomb. I'm going to find a way to smuggle that into Mike's bag and not tell him he's going to be pushing it around and he's going to reach in for a glove. You know what would be funny, though? What would be funny would be if we had a situation whereby um, he had a flask. Oh! Because then if he had a flask, I think you just beat me to the end. We could have dumped it. Drank, <laughs> no, we would have drank it, whatever he had in it, and then replaced it with Spicenheimer. Yep. So he had it and been like, what in the... <laughs> the best part would have been, he's like, yeah. And he doesn't say anything. I'm like, yeah, you're full of shit, dude. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on, Bill. You were hitting most Head of the fairways in the last round. We got to hit some now. Thin fucking god. I mean, that's gonna find the fairway, but it's some weak shit. Not only did you, uh, not only did you drink all the water, but you moved the bowl all the way over there. You goop ball. Um, yeah. The only negative Dutch to not playing in the scramble tour is if you have designs on, like being at the top of the list. So the way the tours, all the tours work, by the way, is they work based on a point system, right? So if you win, you get so many points. And if you get second, you get so many points. And the points are weighted, right? So the better you do, the more points you get. So if you miss a week, you obviously miss out on a chance where you would have gotten some points. So like last year, me and Bill only missed a couple of weeks the whole year. We got a late start, but then after that, we only yeah. missed a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, I think we ended up missing. And we ended, up in the top, we ended up in the top 30. Yep. Overall. And it wasn't because we did well, because we won nothing. We finished, basically our first week was a top 10 and then never again. Right. But we just consistently got a little bit every week because every week we played and every week then we got some points. And a lot of people miss a lot of weeks. Oh, that is the straightest shot of it all day. That's one you hit all day, boss. I agree. I agree. And the numbers bear that out. Yeah, and hit the fairway and run. And it's a par five, so we might actually have a chance to do something. So if you want to be near the top, you have to play almost every week just to not miss out on points. Yeah, you can't you can't leave points and you gotta get points. Like right. once you get far enough down the ladder, you get well, no it's points. Okay. It's okay, you can go outside. On the other hand, Dutch, if you don't give a shit about points, then you can miss as many weeks as you want. So you could be me where you say, like, yeah, we're just gonna skip the first seven weeks because whatever, I'm still outside, man. Right. And that's fine. I turfed it. I mean, this is one of the reasons why, I don't know if I've discussed this on stream. I assume I have, I assume you guys have heard this, but like, I've been thinking about doing my own tour 
because if I do my own tour, I can design the rules the way I would design it, which would be, it doesn't start till November 1, and it's just for us locals here around Fargo. Um, you know, it's only one round a week. I can basically design it the way I would design it. Like and most golf tournaments are, you show up, it's one round, winner take right, all. Right, right. Versus it's starting a month and a half, two months before I think it should, and ending four, three weeks after it should, and having to play two rounds a week, which most people have obligations and can't do that for a living. Fade, oh, just a tug. Dang it. Right number two. Yeah, just, I don't know what it is. That's the second one of those in a row where I've hit that same pole, but the face has been closed. So instead of it gently fading back and just dies. You guys good? Any, uh, it's a little bit personal bit on stream, but any word on your uh, new location? No, but I'm expecting to hear something, I'm hoping, in the next two days. Nice. We've lost everyone at our building, and there's almost no way we're sticking around for- Are you anything. over in, uh, we're on 45th Street. You or your Vicky. wife? Vicky, yeah. Vicky's on 45th Street. I work from home, I don't give two shits. Right, 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 right. Right. That's, that's why I was confused. Yeah. But yeah, Vicky's over there, and the front desk guy that was running the show, well, the problem. awesome, gone, and number two, also gone now, so like, there's that nobody there. Turnover was yeah. rapid. Yeah, that sucks. It's like, once the good guy goes, there's no in, no incentive for anyone That's to That's a lot of businesses around. right there. Oh, I fucking chunked it. God damn it. I mean, that's way better than I deserve for such a shit shot. Um, okay, so bad news on that front. Did I tell you why I was waiting? Why you what? While I was waiting for word, did I tell you why? No. Oh, well, I thought last I had heard... They were amenable to most of your stuff, but it you, sounds were, like you were I, basically like arguing one point. No, that. no, that is not what happened. So okay. what happened in my world was they got back to us and said like, hey, we're actually willing to give you probably everything, it sounds like everything you want. But the rub is the rest of the space, because I'm only taking maybe yeah. like a third of the space available. Okay. The rest of the space, there's a, actually, the, the reason why I'm gonna maybe get what I want is because there's another group that is willing to take the other two thirds. Oh. And they wanted the other two thirds without taking the third that I already wanted. So it was one of those perfect matches made in heaven. Right, yep. However, they had not yet seen the space and they're from out of town. Mm. So I was waiting until this week because I'm told tomorrow is the day they're actually gonna Tour, get into this make space. sure that it's what they want. And so what I'm waiting on is somebody else to go, yep, this is, what, this is what we thought it was, and we're willing to do that, and they're willing to do whatever, because then from their perspective, they have to do a bunch of work. But if the whole space is taken up, it's perfect for them because they do that work once, once. they're done. And then now you guys are locked into super long-term leases. Right, and plus you know me. I told them I want an abnormally long lease because I hate moving, so. Yeah, yeah, God, what's it been, 10 years, 11 years now? 11. 11, yeah. Ah! Hit the ball, Alice! Yeah, I felt so good about that, too. I just misjudged it, I think. Um, so, yeah, my, I, yeah, abnormally long. And by the way, I'm trying to do the same thing here. This year, I'm trying to get 12 guaranteed. How many years am I trying to lock in? 12 guaranteed locked in years if I need it. Like, because again, I hate moving. Like the extension. Yeah, yeah. One long lease with several extensions buried into the lease. So, right. So we'll see. We'll see. But I mean, obviously, if that happens, I'm going to be pretty excited come summer when I have to get construction crews in to do all the work. And because there's a bunch of shit we have to do. Oh, yes. Nice pot. Um, plumbing is a disaster. Electrical is a disaster. Um, there's a lot of disasters. Yeah. So. No, I get you. All right, six hondo. Six hondo. Hey, it's uh, T at the T, Azu. baby. Piper. Is it time for? Is it time for? I didn't even say it. Treats at the turn. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. We're at another turn, everybody. I need to get treats at the turn cam. Up and working for the rest of you folks so you can see these two dogs going crazy. Look at this hole, man. Oh, man. Oh man, Bill did it last time, so can I do it this time? Yeah. All right. Bill, Bizu, sit. Piper, sit. You guys gonna sit like nice dogs? No, sit. 
Good job. Good job. Good job. Good dogs. Did you taste it? The answer is no. <clears throat> or no. Good job. Woo. Oh, shit. Woo. I like it. I like it. Good dogs. Good doggo. Big. Get up. Bounce. Get up. Nice. Well, that'll work. It's a par five, 600 yards, so there's almost no chance. And you're going to have 360 left. Yeah, that was a shit shot. 211 carry. Fuck. So, is there any advantage, Bill? To going left? To taking a direct route and only having 209 if I could hit the shot. That, yeah, could you elevate? That's what I was wondering. I'm technically safe and we're going three shots, but. Solid stream quality today. KGM Canada enters the chat. Whatever changes I made. Yes, I, hilariously enough, all I changed was the music. <laughs> Instead of getting royalty-free streamed music off YouTube, I'm getting royalty-free streamed music off Spotify, and that KJM made all the difference because apparently, even though the video for these royalty-free streams is non-existent, apparently it still is video, so. All right, let's roll the dice here, Bill. I think I can elevate. I like it. I'm safe enough, and mine's a three-shot hole. Anyway. All right, let's shortcut this bastard. Oh, yeah. Be okay. Be okay. Oh, no. Cart path. Oh, get out of the shit, though. Oh, Bill. Uh, deep, deep stuff. I'm only 180, 180 out. The deep. I'm only 180, but it's the deep. Oh, yeah, but it's half. You're half closer than I am. Like, that's the hole. Like, is there well, any danger? I don't think so, because I think the hole's on this side of the yeah, water. Yeah, it is. It? I, I think, we, I think we take it, too, just because we can get one maybe there. All right, so yeah, hit the hit the. <laughs> let's, let's hack this bitch. Oh, there's a little bit. Is that water? or Is it just rough? Yeah, I think it's. I think it's just rough. I think, I think the think river's over there. I think the. I don't know. Go back. Well, again. look at where the river is. Yeah. So watch over here on the right. Yep. Yeah, I think the river it's, goes under that, yeah, that yeah, yeah. bridge. Yeah. I think the green is here. Okay. So I don't think there's anything between us. Just that is that dangerous. Owl patch of shit. Correct. All right. So it's just a matter of Fuck, how much club can we hit? Let's do it. Fuck yeah. Full send. Cheat code. Oh, it's the full full send. <laughs> full send. By the way, I love that. We've got that all figured out. The full send. Oh god, I hit that so pure. Go hard. No. Nope. Oh, not a chance. We'll stop. Stop. All right. Well. That, okay, I the mean. The problem with that was I pured my five iron, which is 175 carry. Okay, I'm gonna try to whack a hybrid yeah, as hard look, as I possible. I got 173 carry. The game gave me 114. 14. Howie Town, all right. Yeah, that's the that's the loft angle. It's of a 16 inch, 16 degree launch angle. You're gonna get even less out of a hybrid. <laughs> That's awful too. Yeah. I hit it so bad. <laughs> Get out! Uh, ah, well, doubled. What a great idea. Yep. But That's the right. problem was, is that I put it into the deep rough. Had I not put it into the deep rough, I think we'd have been very excited about that opportunity. That's all right. 50 yards. We were we were going three shots, no matter which one. We took probably. Nine at probably at. By the way, three. so Dutch is hitting the full send button, which I appreciate. Um, that's one of the advantages we get if we can get to the next level of Twitch. If we could get in about another 18 followers, the next level is we could design our own little oh. emojis yeah. to hop into the channel, which would be fun. We're gonna, we're gonna model the uh, Frostbite Mountain Dew can in there. We're definitely doing a burl. <laughs> burl. <laughs> That's right on. Oh! Yeah. Oh, oh, what a bounce. bounce! What a bounce! What a bounce! Thank goodness you, <laughs> thank goodness you did not hit the, uh, oh. did not hit the uh, green. Oh thank goodness you hit the God. fairway. That, you hit that little sliver of fairway, and Jesus Pro's like, well, it's firm. <laughs> well, right. we good like luck. That. You got a hole out. I we guess. like that. I guess. Wow! What a lovely wow. burden. Wow! What a lovely burden to have. Wow! We're back to under par. We're already under par. Yeah. One under. Now we're yeah, gonna be. Now we're gonna be two priority. under. Woo. That is all high off the face. Yep. Oh, I got the same dumb bounce. <laughs> it's just, it's just I hit it so much higher. <laughs> I don't believe that. Oh, good grief. What an ending to that hole. All right. Well. <laughs>
Hilarious. You know what, Bill? We can birdie out and still hit our number. No. I'm just saying, it's not impossible yet. I mean, if they ever give us a short ass hole. Although 196 par 3 is certainly. Uh, yeah, that's a bit. That's a bit. Thanks for nothing. A little bit. I've been hitting my my hybrid so bad. I'm just gonna try to full send a four iron, even though I don't think I can get there. But my hybrid has been such dog shit. So. Well, if you hit it straight and you catch that fairway, which you're right. going to here, anything can happen. Right. Look at that. That was my thing. Look like, at this. Yeah. I mean, you are 40 yards short, and you're basically almost in putting range. Yeah, that's just. I mean, Beezer, do you need to go out? Yeah, I'll take him out. Maybe Bill can open the door for you. Come on, let's go outside. Come on, let's go outside and go see how nice it is. Ooh, it's pretty it nice bad. outside. It does look nice out there. It's a okay. lovely day in North Dakota, folks. Yeah, 50 degrees. You can tell how browbeaten we are by the weather. Yeah, we're definitely doing a W today. I already did one this morning. We'll definitely get one in after this. Club. Good lord. <laughs> Toe bang the hell out of that. Nice shot, Brandon. Sure. Uh, Definitely not mine. I mean, wherever you're at is better. Uh, yeah. So you didn't go in the water. No, dead straight. Oh, well, your golf balls. Did somebody call for a golf ball retriever? <laughs> it's not listed on my pedigree, but I'm a half golf ball retriever. What a good pedigree that would be. <laughs> yeah. All right, I got the door. All right, 15, 15 yards. It's a little right. Why did you do me so dirty, butter knife? Why? <laughs> I went to butter that bread, and that bread tore. You know, like it does if the bread, if the butter's too cold. Because your butter's too cold. Doing it. Yeah, exactly. No, I can, I can play out this metaphor. Yeah. All right. Nice shot there, bud. All right, we're, we're guaranteed to not go backwards. Well, I got a chip, too, because that's just too much to putt through, so. Played Stream Song Blue last night, that 17th hole at 690. Yeah. I do like the Stream Song courses. Um, they're a lot of fun. I'd, that's a place I would love to go in real life. I'd really love to go play Stream Song. Yeah, uh, Daddy, Daddy shot uh, minus six at Stream Song Black. I'd love to go see what I do in Stream real life. Stream Song's on the board a lot, actually, because it's on your board. I got Stream Song Red, and I bet Blue is somewhere on my board, too, is it? <laughs> I don't see. Yep, Blue is on my board at three under. Red is five under, and Bill shot six under at the black course. Yeah, that was so, a good day. Yeah, that was a fun day. Oh, a little firm. Yeah, no, maybe not. Want. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's too thin. Better no. than most. Boo. Oh, Mike, what are you smuggling in here? Yeah, make him carry again, like the old days. <laughs> watch I him break. Die. Can watch you him break in half. I would. I yeah. No. No. I would die. I'm pretty sure this is dirty from last. Uh, it is. Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to. All right. What are we at? Minus two. Rick Shields had a recent video from there. Looks like a decent resort. Ah, Rick was at, uh, yeah. You uh, like Rick Shields? I do. We'd love to partner with Rick Shields. Give us a call. We'll uh, take you around. Yeah, watch resort. him as he whoops our ass. Oh. That guy's pretty decent at golf. He's not bad. He complains, but I love his breaking 75. Uh, series. Jeez, how many more dishes could I stack? Holy in this freaking shit. sink. Still going. That is a full tray of dishes. Yeah, it is. Man, the driver was so. So get that rock. What is that? A little flower bed. Okay. Um, the driver is so good round one and has completely abandoned me since. Uh, so funny story about local streaming. Um, you know, there is a group of people who I'm not going to name, but that are locals. And they did some YouTubing and had their own simulator and the whole deal, yo. And I actually reached out to them at some point and was just like, hey, I see you've got the same kind of simulator software we do. Um, you've got a YouTube channel, we've got a YouTube channel. It'll be kind of fun to do a little collab. Um, I can go fuck myself. So, awesome. <laughs> so, so much for collabs.
Everybody is worried about my might as I thin another awful fucking driver shot. Get That's lucky. Bunker. Get lucky now. Oh, that had to go in there. It, did. it had to go in there. That's fair. Uh, I think I'm a, I like mine. I mean, if you're not in the bunker already with that lip, I think, yeah, I mean, we take yours all day. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, say lovey. Am I going to need more? I don't know. We got a little wind help. This will probably balance out. KJ, are you going to be Dutch's scramble partner? Well, like that. You should do it. Yes, do let it. That, we'll challenge the, you next year. Let the year. scramble golf flow through you. Yes. Hey, I'm going to pitch this idea to you two again. I'll, I'll wait till Bill hits, but I'm going to re-pitch an idea. I pitched several streams back. Oh. I think Frostbite Golf needs to have a... Oh, sit. 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 No spin out of the rough, but boy, I hit that pure. I think Frostbite Golf needs to have a member day, if you will. A member collab day where we... Uh, Invite you uh, frequent flyers who have simulator access to a day of um, hilarious golf. We'll get you guys on the stream. We'll use Discord or something so we can chat. That'll give you a blast. All right. So I'll take a little extra. I can't wait to extra boot here. that up in the uh, laptop and do my best Happy Gilmore impression on that camera. Ooh, you like that, baby? That's more where that came from. <laughs> Fade, baby. Ah. Oh, just the standard Brandon pull. Just the standard pull. A good thing I did, though, because I'd have been short without. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, we're going to get a little feedback there. 29 feet, and I ran just through that. <laughs> it's not too bad. Double breaker, though. Well, that's your putter. Okay. <laughs> You watching? Uh, I guess. Um, but I'm not it's a chasing, double I'm not chasing the dogs. I'm sure I'm not. Definitely not. Okay, so I like I like this. Just inside that tree in the distance. I pushed it. Yep, you did. And I almost got away with it. Okay, I like that aim point then because here's the deal. Like, I didn't actually push it. I hit that dead straight. Because my my argument is is that. I think a touch more power and it's perfect. Right, but, it's gonna break. But less. I almost broke it in with that speed. But look at that. That was almost dead. This is gonna break less if I have to give it a little more. Right, right, right. Which I have to give it a little more. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Too hard. Yeah, that's your miss. Shite. All right. Boring ass pars. Dang it. Dang it. This course has like length and teeth. It's a great, uh, great choice for scramble day. Not gonna lie. But I concur. I'd be terrified playing this joint in real life. Well, look how narrow these fairways are. It's like. Come at me. I agree. I agree. I agree. On, on that, you and me are going to agree, I think. Oh, God, that was a nervy pour. Oh, God. Well, I'm glad you ain't driving. Oh, nervy God, pour. I... Look at that. That's brutal. Where did I fucking hit that? Lost it to the right. That tall corn, folks. Where, though? Like, I don't yeah, even you just it. lost it to the right. Like You're right in the right, other right below the eight in the two four eight there. Oh, okay. I yep. was gonna say, like, holy shit. Yep, it's there. Right into the belt, beltway. Used to have to take the beltway to school. <laughs> beltway. We're making DC jokes now. Oh, geez, don't do that. Talisker ten. Thank you. Shout out to our friend Nick Larson who donated the Talisker ten bottle to our bar. Thanks, bud. We'll have you back again another time. Look at you. You know what we need to do, uh, or not weed. Oh, damn it. Sit. 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 Okay, well, we're in the rough, but hard to hit that fairway, though. My God, that's Tom Lehman esque. Yeah. Just pinch that fucker. Yeah, it is 
Two. Uh-huh. That being said, so here's what I need to do. What I need to do is I need to get uh, Nick out to MCC this summer. So I'll have to get that done. Yep. It's not me, but I'll do it. We'll drag him out there. Well, apparently he's in town once a week, so it's just a matter of logistics. Coordinating? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Ah, I got six, five, five miles an hour into the face, and we're coming out of the rough. Besides, I got to get into shape or whatever. My first golf tournament's in two months already, so I got to get my shite together. I know. I've got a couple of those in the calendar. We should coordinate and see if we can uh, get together on something in real life. Mm -hmm. IRL, mm -hmm. as the kids say. A little thin, but get up. All right, that's not bad. Um, yeah, I think that logistically, from my perspective, like I'm at that point in my life now as an old person who doesn't really enjoy the competition of golf as much as he used to. Uh, love me a two, three, four man scramble best ball something and mm -hmm. just go out and have some fun. And worst case scenario, you're down by a lot and you get to the turn, you're like, smoke them if you got them. And yeah, you just play have accordingly. Have them for time. fun. Oh, big pole. Come on, cut now. Oh, oh might have overcut even. Sit. Oh, Sit. let's Sit. go. What are you talking about? Go. Sit. I just don't want it to go any further than that. All right, we like it. That a boy. We like it. That a boy. That cut comes in handy. Every once in a while, oh my God, what a disgusting five foot putt though. <laughs> Not the prettiest five footer, but. No. Like something like that probably. Yeah. But again, it's just a matter of speed. This is a speed putt. Mm -hmm. Bam. Heart. Bam. Hearted it. Now, 515, par five though. So short par five actually. <laughs> I mean, as far as this course goes, but. Well, 515 is a short, shortish. I mean, yeah. they're not, they can't all be 445 par five <laughs> or whatever we were confronted with. I'm um, spoiled. At Druid's Sue Glen. Me. Sue me. So while I'm not going to Google I.O. because I refuse to spend that kind of money to uh, fly all the way to Google I.O. even though I've been invited. Um, what I should do is head back to build. Not because I want to. These assholes keep screwing me. <laughs> um, but because that would be a good time. I can visit three of my uh, favorite things. That'll work. Finally found a freaking fairway. Oh, geez. There's a ball back here and I stepped on it. I can visit three of my favorite things. Um, Cannon, uh, my friend Laura, and uh, Chambers Bay. Oh. All three things did I visited the last time I was out there, but that was five years ago. I was going to say, did you need company? Uh, There's a guy who was just out there. I can show you the sights. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes, yes. Yeah, five years ago. I have the pictures to prove it, but five years ago is when I was at Build last time because um, I was there for that Teams thing that was going on that time. Rare beer picnic. 25 tickets left. Oh, by the way, did you hear, did you know, I'll put this in your, did I put this in your ear before Drucker has a similar event? Do you know about this? Uh-uh. Drucker has a similar event, and it's this weekend. What? Yeah, they call it the Fool's Ball. This is the second annual one. 50 plus breweries bringing their shit. For Eat one, shit. For one four hour event. Indoors. Wow. At whatever. I asked Mike about it, and he's like, yeah, well, I wouldn't be able to go on short notice. I'm like, I get that, and that's fair. But I didn't even know this was a thing. Now that I know this is a thing, it's like, we're gonna have to ask ourselves every year. It's like, it's always around April Fool's Day, which is why they call it the Fool's Ball. Yeah. Like, we're gonna have to ask this question of like, do we wanna put this into the agenda? Because to be honest, 50 breweries, each brewing crazy shit. Yeah. Seems pretty ridiculously right. interesting. Yeah, you move that thing indoors so I don't have to freeze my ass off. You and they still have food. a few tickets left for that. I looked this morning even yet. Should I ask mom? I got company this weekend, if, but. If you get, if you get. I could get Tom to drive us. <laughs> it's Saturday afternoon. It's at like noon on Saturday. Ooh. So long, diet. Dang it. Get lucky. Hit a house. Shit. Good news, I actually hit a good one here. <laughs> well, that's good, because we're going to need it. Yeah, I'm actually out drove you and I'm in the fairway. Because I hit it. Poopy. Well, look at me. Carrying on. Kind of channeling my in, inner uh, Ralphio, Jean Ralphio. Jean Ralphio. Because I hit it like shit. <laughs> <laughs> That frickin' show. <laughs> Why are you so bad at golf? Because I hit it like shit. Oh, X 
actually put a move on it, but I hit it just off to the right. Okay, well, I mean, that's not the worst leave in the no. world. No. I mean, yeah. Oh, 230. The problem with this, the problem with this, if I'm being honest, is going Everything to Everything leans a little right. I didn't play for the two degrees right, though. Well, my problem is the wind. Oh, yeah. Counteracts it, that. And I'm not going to get a run up on this line, so. No, you got to carry. You got to. Feel like we're just gonna. I take feel like you need to go left, unless you, I mean, I guess you're maybe planning on playing a little left, and then the wind. I'm. Every time I touch this club, I pulled it a little bit. I got the wind going that way. Yep. No, that's good. I've taken a lot of club here. My plan, like if I hit this perfect, my plan would be to carry that last bunker to hit the rough and to hope I have enough momentum. Just bounce to on. To carry him forward. And yeah. Not that would be through. like that's ideal. Okay. Plan B is I pull it and I end up green pin high on the left. Either way is good with me. But you kind of faded it off I, a little bit. Oh, sit, sit, oh, sit, you please. Lovely son sit. Of a bitch. Oh, that's never going to sit. It's all right. I mean, not bad. That was plan D or E. I lost track. We'll take I, it. I totally, uh, I totally uh, uh, Jim Furyk that fucker. <laughs> I got back in here and went, woo, let's do this. Let's loop de loop this. Yep. All right, I better start working on this whiskey because I nervy poured myself here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Beezer, you didn't want to walk. You can walk yourself. I'll just, I'll just, you know, you can drag me along. Kind of play it just outside the circle. Try to play it and then hope it breaks down and in. It's only 18. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like uh, that. It's kind of up and a rise and then it dives. So I needed to hit that a little further. Yeah, not bad though. That's gonna be a nasty putt if we have to make it though. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to do what you did, which is essentially like You just gotta hit it a little further out than yeah, I Yeah, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna take the high road here, right? Like typically Brandon loves a runner, but on this one here I'll take the high road to take most of the break out of play and just play the break at the very end. Too hard? No, not too, hard. too soft. Go! Find a go! Yes. Yes. Tap in birdie. All right, we like that. Yep, we'll take it. Hey, we did all right. We're, we're chipping away, considering we doubled. We were two over everybody through what? Eight or seven. It was bad. Yeah. And so we rampaged that back to 400. It does wonder what might have been. Well, because had, had we, we not just... made double and had we made two of those putts we thought we could make in the beginning, um, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we're about seven or eight under now. Yep. Hey, what do you think this fairway is? The back nine team. Yeah, you, back nine Brandon. Back nine Brandon. Hey. Hey, come on. Come on. Oh, my God. I don't know where the slices come from. It has developed since... Uh, Settle. Settle. <sighs> Shoot. All right. All right, let's just rip one. Um, I uh, just got permission to uh, attend the Amaro tasting May 11th on the All Friday. right, I'm, I'm game if you are. Like I said, I nobody knows Amaro like Evan, so you will go, you will come correct. Okay. So if you want to go, I'm game. I'm, I'm acquiring my ticket All right, right I now. shall buy a ticket here shortly then. As I'm scrolling to Dang look it. for it, Fuller's Ball, a festival There's of weird no, beers. That, that's the one I was talking about. Oh, I'm dead Ooh. meat, dude. Dead. Yeah, you're a bit further than me, but uh, I... I'd rather have rough than yeah. death. No, yeah. 187 with a weird lie. Yeah. Damn it. Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. Brandon. Brandon. All right, well... Oh, geez, what did I put my phone in? A puddle? Nice. Good job, bud. Don't know what puddle is over there. I'm sure it's water or something, but damn it. It's a half finger or whatever you poured last. Nope, definitely water. Oh, well, that's good. Definitely water. All right, 187, I need all of this. Oh, wow, I still found a way to cut that sucker. Big kick. Oh, it's not enough muscle. 
just a tad thin. See, I definitely think we should keep the Fooler's Ball in mind for next year. Yes, I will. Add. As I told somebody else, it's like I'd have gone, I'd have gone by myself, but that's a crappy thing to go to by yourself because you spend the entire time just standing in lines. So you need people to talk to. Yep. I'm buying tickets. Okay. Check out. Nope. Buy with Apple Pay, please. Thank you. Processing payment bill. Okay. Um, so yeah. So you need you need somebody to stand in the line with. And at the end of the day, um, it's even a shitty place to take a date. Because yeah. like you're gonna be sloppy at the end of it, and that is not something you want to expose somebody to until you've been going out for a substantial enough period of time that you know my drunk face. Yep. Oh, towed it. That's way short. Damn it. Oh, buddy, tell me you did better than me. A little better, not a lot better. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, brutal. Order complete, I'm going to a Marl Fest. Uh, placing order. Come on, come on, LTE, one, one bar. Order confirmation, I'm at a Marl Fest. Yeah, I mean. Order complete, I have ordered, there. I have ordered a lot of a Marl from him. I have him actually chasing something right now for me. A new eau de vie from California. Ooh. He told me he can get it. So, and I heard he got it for somebody else. So, he, Evan's the man. He'll figure it out. All right. Then I'm gonna have another shock value situation going on <laughs> in my favor. Move over, carrot eau de vie. Oh, I needed to hit that. Let bar. me introduce you, Bill, to basil eau de vie. Oh, basil eau de vie. Hope you like basil, baby. I love me some basil. Me too. Me as well. Would we get to play against Team Frostbite? Not in the Scramble Tour you won't, but that being said, Team Frostbite's willing to take you guys on the Scramble sometime. Yeah. Mostly, it's mostly due to Bill's logistics. Again, I'm sure we've all heard the horror stories of Brandon's life and schedule. That's all very true. It's, I'm not discounting it. But, but nobody works time, so hard, they don't have two hours to whoop something. At the same time, my, ske ass. my schedule's shitty, but my <laughs> schedule's far easier to manipulate than Bill's and anybody else's is. Oh, you gotta hit that. You did just what I did. Aw, uh, yeah. Nope, you're right. Trust me, I got two hours to fucking whoop some fucking Canuck's ass. Oh. All day long. Oh boy, the shit talk. <laughs> it is so real. As he's as he's watched all season, he's like, I could take that fucker all day. That guy keeps hitting it off the toe, fucking I'll own that guy. Go ahead, it's okay. You can go outside. It's all right. We love you guys. Well, once we're playing head to head, we're gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Good grief. No barking. Oh man. Wor worst case, it'll be immortalized on YouTube for the world to. Yay! There, so that's the reason so to do it. So don't fuck it up. The reason to do it is is for the YouTube glory of it all. just tugged it. I think you put me right back on whatever line you yeah. wanted there. In Shots fact, to be fired. honest, you, you, should put me, right. you should put me a little closer. Yeah, that's um, a tiny bit closer. Okay, right? because one, you hit it too hard. I hit it too hard and I And two, it. you also pulled the bejesus out of yeah. it. So I got all excited because okay. Dutch was coming for me. So. <laughs> I didn't hit it hard enough. Yuck, we suck. Oh gosh. Dutch is like, what? You guys challenge me. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I, I can beat these two guys drunk and fucking drunk. Hung over. Friggin' concussion and whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah, that's all right. That's, that's fair. He's, he's watched us all season, so he, he knows what he's getting. Dutch knows my golf game probably as good as I do at this point. <laughs> there are a few people who have seen us play a lot of golf. Dutch is in that group. He's kind to not point out our flaws. <laughs> oh, Hang on. oh, just stay out of that bunker. God, it was like the first 
finally half decent drive I've hit. Yeah. And then I found the bunker anyway. These yeah. fairways are narrow as shit. These though. fairways are very they narrow. They are unkind. Exceedingly narrow fairways. Yeah. 93 out of the bunker though, so. The hallmark like of Hawks view. <sighs> Oh, geez. I'm going to get away with this somehow, even though this was such a bad strike. Yep, that big oh, fairway. Oh, Lord. Be than me. Chuckles ask. All right. Okay. 80 in the fairway, baby. 80 in the fairway, baby. <laughs> oh, I caught you, Piper. <laughs> Rile him up. You are caughted. You are caughted. Oh, you do not oh. want to be left. Do not want to be left. I like your ears. Oh, just chunk it some more. Well, I didn't want to be left, and I was not left. <laughs> <laughs> My dog's like, at this nose, I'm Wiley. <laughs> we don't care. We we only care about the uh, the entertainment of the company. Wait a second. And the round. Your rounds include a bunch of beers. How what? dare there be drinking in what? this establishment? This will not stand. Yeah. In fact, I I'll drink to your lack of drinking. Yes. Stay sober. Yeah. Mm. Come, you better come correct. We've got a pretty good uh, beer and wine selection here. The beer selection is pretty good. The, the whiskey selection is ridiculous. The wine selection Could is entirely in my house, but that's fine. That's fine. In fact, I drank some wine I last week. I think we week. should come up with some rules for this. I had a bottle match. of German white, and it was delicious. Rules? Some rules for what we're going to dub the match. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the frostbite match. The match. I'll create a whole new playlist for the match going forward. Yep, a little oh, bit of tail, though. right. You want to be right? Spin. Holy spinzilla. Well, that's a little bit more like the standard spin rate. Yeah, jeez. Versus those little 5,000 Vader wedge spins I wasn't understanding from earlier. Yeah. So we come up with some rules. <laughs> All bogeys <laughs> require they might... a two ounce uh, shot taking. <laughs> Of art, of your choice, you can uh, pick anything of a, of a bottle, $40 or less. You must have it in your possession before the round begins. And, uh, yeah, if you bogey a hole, you, uh, <laughs> both opponents required to take a two-ounce pour. Oh, I yanked it. Oh, and it's out of the circle even. What? I think as long as I keep doing this, Bill, there's one dog that's going to sleep pretty well tonight, and it ain't the one that's just sitting here. Yep. No, I appreciate that. It's the one that's doing all the jumping. <laughs> all right. I like that. Okay. I pulled it, and I'm out of the circle. Maybe you need a little more if you're going to softy it. Okay, what do I got for your distance here? It is... It's only 12 and a half. I, I, think, it's it. hard to, I think it's hard to soft this. I got this. All right. All right 12. You just got to be straight. Oh, God, then I softed it. Go! Oh, just stay in the side. Oh, I needed to soft it, though. My God, was that quick. Yeah. Crap. Yeah, yeah. Do we bogey that? Uh, no. Okay. We've always been at three. I thought, no, we got the four. We lost a stroke Did somewhere. We, what? Right? I don't know. Can you feel the scorecard? I mean, stream, you can check me on this, but I'm pretty confident that we were at four under at one point. Yeah, Whoa, we just bogeyed we two bogeyed. holes ago. What? I didn't even... Uh... I was going to say, we were at 400 at one point. Oh, shit. No longer. All right. 500, Bill. New goal. New Squad goal. goal. Yeah, we got to get to... Birdie, yeah. birdie. Okay, so 173, 21 down. Um, so the real number is probably about a, what, buck 60-ish? I'm going to play like more like a buck 50. We got a little helping wind here. Okay. So I got my 150 carry. Okay. So we're just going to try to flush this. Towed it. 
tone it off to the left somehow. That's probably the right club though. 130, I only carried it. Yeah, not for me though, because I'm gonna have to carry this thing with the spin almost all the way there. Yeah, so. 140 is probably your number, I think, based on where I landed. I'm between So give me 155 total after the bounce, and I'm roughly pin eye. Back here from a yardage number, I carried it 130. Okay, so. And then I bounce forward. All right, 10. so I think it's the club I originally was thinking. Okay. I just think I should put it on a tee and feather it slightly. Yeah, I went reaching for a couple extra yards that I shouldn't have. All right, I got this. So trust you me, I'll be on my game when Dutch comes. I'll come correct. <laughs> when the Dutch man comes calling. Fade Keep a little fading. bit. Oh, Keep there's fading. the baby fade. Keep fading. Be the number. Be the number. Stick it. Ah, not bad. Not All bad. All right. That'll work. Oh, I can't wait till my new grips get here. You know why? Because then I can take out whatever's rattling in my eight iron shaft. By the way, that is the most frustrating thing. It went into, apparently eBay has a situation where it does like international shipping where it'll take responsibility for some of that. I have no visibility at all. Mm. So it's frustrating. I don't know if that's because it's effed up. One down, one to go, and 419. We down come to the last. last. So, I mean, we should be able to, but I mean, it's gonna be a, Gotta, gotta have a good drive. Well, I mean, look at it this way, Bill. Even if we didn't make any more pots or do any more whatever, if we just didn't bogey holes like dickheads, <laughs> we'd be seven under right now right? with a shot at eight, which, yep. again, still short of our goal, but much more apropos of what I'd argue we normally yeah. do. Yeah, especially for round two, which usually is when the wheels fucking come off. Yeah, we definitely started to struggle with a few of our shots now. Fade a little more. Oh, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, yeah. Coming. Oh, yeah, you found the meat there. Finally, boy, seven degree fine. pull. That'll with be just a slice fine, back to folks. the fucking fairway. Woo! Green light, baby. Green right. light. This could be, I have to think about this, right? This could be the last drive I hit during season two on the <laughs> Like, yep. depending on the weather here, I don't know if we're going to get to the finale. So, we, we gotta, leave, gotta, it, make that gotta leave it all out on the field. There you go. Golly. Oh, no fade? No fade no at all. No fade? No fade at all. I'm gonna launch it over all that. So, uh, I'll be way closer, but I'm gonna be in a garbage poop lie. Yeah, 126, like 11 more yards, but fairway? Doesn't matter to me. I leave it to you. Yeah, like, it's a better number, I think. So. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm with you that we have to make it happen, but the making it happen part is really a triumvirate of people's schedules having to come together. It's you and Mike having to get permission to spend time here during an evening, and then it's me having to make that work in my schedule. But again, my schedule, I would argue, far easier to manipulate. Yeah. All right, well, I'll ask Mama, and then I'll book it. And then uh, we'll- Well, you won't book it because the link is dead. I killed the link this week. No, that's fine. Oh, okay. I will book it in it, in so far as I will let you know that me and Eli Roger are in, that. and we'll have a group. Pulled. Yeah, I haven't heard from, uh, I haven't heard from Bruce yet, but I will. Shoot. Um, because I killed the link here a day or two ago. Once I saw the weather and you guys were talking about playing outdoors on Friday, yeah. that was the time where I'm like, oh, look at that wind there, Bill, too. Oh, shoot, I should have played a little more. Maybe but once, once I saw I the, it, but. once I saw the weather situation, um, I already had the link designed to like die at some point, but then looking at it, I'm like, wait a second, I'm not gonna, like, I know there's no times, I think Sunday had a time open because obviously I'm gonna be out of town. And so there's a bunch of time available the week after. And I'm like, I don't want somebody booking that and saying, oh, I'm gonna show up Saturday at five o'clock and it's like that ends up being a 70 degree day and I can't go out in the morning. And then it's like, no, 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 no. Yep. So I'm like, well, better yet, I'll just kill the stupid thing. And well done, sir. We can still play indoors if the weather's poopy, mm -hmm. but talk to me. Come on, wind, do me a solid. Fade, fade it off. the wind. Oh, you're a little right of it. Hold it off, wind. 
bounce left. Go left. Yeah, a little too much fade. All right, here's our chance to get our number. 19 <laughs> feet. Revised number, everybody. Revised <laughs> number. Yeah. This All is right. the five. Yeah, we would have been at what? Minus eight. Because even for me, Bill, like I'll leave my clubs in here, right? But like, come my return, it's going to be like, yeah, the clubs are going to go into the trunk. I mean, along with the... That's why you bought a brand new car to hold all your I mean, clubs. along with the, the caddy over there and everything else, like, it's time to suit up when I get back from my trip. Yes, sir. And then golf indoors becomes a pain in the ass. Yes, sir. Not only from the perspective of playing... Got it. Yes! Boom! Not only from the perspective of playing indoors, but also from the perspective of uh, keeping your clubs clean. Because yes. you guys go out and play, and then it's like, first thing you have to do is clean your freaking clubs. Look so. how many birdies were up there. Yeah, we birdied a lot of holes, and we bogeyed and doubled a hole, and I'm with you. That might be the first double we've had. I'm pretty sure. The all scramble season long. Like, all season in previous past seasons. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, Hawksview was a challenge. Um, it was a challenge because of the pinching of the fairways. They were tight. Like, it was tough. If you could catch the fairways, the course was a lot shorter and easier. Yeah. But that was rough. Like, what's our stats? We hit very few. Statistics in this thing are always really weird. Yeah, six and five fairways. I mean, that tells you a lot right there. Yeah. Yeah. The so fairways were narrow. We hit, we hit a third where we got lucky and hit the fairway. Right. The fairways were narrow. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Oh, my. Well. Well, we got some golf in today. Always a good thing. Yeah, new clubs. Uh, they're a hit. What do you uh, think of the new clubs then, Bill? Give us uh, your review. They feel pretty good. They're a little bit more forgiving off the toe. Oh, watch out, Piper. A little more forgiving off the toe than I'm used to, which was nice. Um, distance is a little better on the lower end uh, and a little bit lighter on the upper end. I don't know how to explain that other than maybe just not playing longer irons as well, mm. to figure. But uh, like seven irons is a good guesstimate of your yardage. I usually carry that somewhere in the neighborhood of about 140 150, you know, but I, I'm usually playing that as my 150 max club, right, with the rollout. And today, depending on the, the shot, I was getting about 150 carry with 160 rollout. So a little bit longer, but it's two degrees stronger than my old one. So that makes sense. So I think I'll be all right. I don't think I have to do too much rethinking of my yardages and distances, uh, but I might not need to swing as hard to get them. So. Yeah, like I said, the, for me, the biggest change between going with a forged muscle back or player's iron to a completely foam stuffed, you know, PXG versus, you know, tailor made versus what you have now is that you lose some sensation when you hit shots on the heel and the toe. And yeah. you just have to kind of figure out that out and regain it. It's regainable. I can feel when I hit mine off the toe and the heel. But yeah. in the beginning, that dampening makes the club feel very different, and you just yep. have to get used to it. Yeah. And that's uh, the, the good thing about it is you just swing your way out of that problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough swings, I'll figure that yep. out. Because I remember early, I was like, oh, I hit that really good, and I was 15 yards short of what I thought. And the camera was like, yeah, you hit that on the toe. And I'm like, well, that felt pretty good for a toe shot for an iron. Right. What I'm used to is having my wrists twist on that me. That still happens, but again, it's the dampening. It's yeah. like having a big old dampener, no yeah. better word to describe it. Right. And so. they look good. I, uh, the jury will be out because my wedges are now all chromed and shiny. And I had this problem eons ago when I switched to the black wedges to dampen the reflection. So when I open that thing up in real life and the sun decides to just right my eye, I'll be probably annoyed that I have shiny wedges again. You're going to find out very yeah, quickly. Yeah, but I've been, I've been using black wedges from Vokey for the last 10 years at least. And I haven't well, had that blinding moment. Well, based on moment. the Unicor, I'm never going back. Because yep. obviously I know what reflective wedges yeah, yeah. are doing here. You've now started to get yep. the misread problems I had and had to buy my <laughs> way out of Yep. Um, a long time back. So. Yeah, so these wedges were fairly inexpensive. I don't remember what I paid. I think it was about 300 bucks. I think they were 89 bucks each. Sure. Um, not bad. They matched my set. So, yeah, I think I'm all in for new clubs and new wedges for 900 bucks US. So, so 
So far, we'll see how the season goes. We're gonna give them at least a full season. The question is, is do I sell my old ones to get new other equipment? Not right now. No, I'll probably hang on. Well, to months a down bit. the road, you'll know the answer though. I honestly think you play enough golf that by the time we get to Memorial Day weekend, you'll know. Yeah. Yeah, you'll I just know. play better and get used to it or, you know, eh, we'll see. So what made you go? That's what Dutch wants to know. Um, what made me go to what? To, oh, to, to your to new go? club? Um, uh, it was, uh, there's a, there's a YouTube channel called Let's Play Through. Some, 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 some middle-aged guy similar to me that uh, reviews golf clubs down in Florida, plays a bunch, and they came highly reviewed. I was r originally going to go with the Maltby set, but when the time came to buy and order them, the Maltby's were sold out of everything but the seven. They were they were sold. They had them in stock, but they were missing seven irons. So you couldn't buy a full set of irons, which was my original choice. So I ended up doing a little more research, and I really liked the look of the. Uh, the Tacomos, the price was still reasonable. Um, so I'm giving them a shot. I mean, they, they're very comparable to the tailor-made like 790s uh, and the Mulpy. Reconnection successful. We're back. And see, everybody was talking about how great our stream was, and then, click, we died of fire. So, yeah. as Oof. Bill said, that was the uh, Academy Awards playing us off. Yep. <laughs> like, it's like, hey, you guys are talking a lot, and we, don't, and we think that's really boring, so shut up. So, yep. all right, anyway, we'll take that yep. as a thing to go. So, hey, if this is it, everybody, this is it. But that being said, we're going to try to put together a, quote-unquote, season finale at Augusta National. Yes. That is our plan. On the other hand, will it happen? I don't know. The weather's really nice. It's leading towards yes. So we're going to make well. this happen. We're going to make this happen. It's not up to me. It, it should be. But it's it's up to me, and I'm saying it's going to happen. you and Mike. So you and Mike. If Mike's work. not here, fuck him. But we'll, you and we'll Mike make. and Chuckles in a giant battle royale. Yep. I don't I like know why it. I said that. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. We're out of here. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, as always. Hopefully, we'll see you one more time before the season's over. Thank you to Dutch and KJM for being in the chat. Yeah. As always, we appreciate you guys. Yeah, we'll see you.